Hey folks, welcome back to the reading room. I wanted to talk today about this two-year-old dog with a history of vomiting and anorexia. So I see a lot of radiographs come across that look a little something like the way these are positioned here, where we might be collimating out of view part of the abdomen, whether or not we get a more cranially positioned projection that cuts off the more caudal half, or a more caudally positioned projection that cuts off that cranial half, Sometimes we get something that really just cuts it off that diaphragmatic margin. I want to remind everybody that it's really important that our abdominal radiographs extend all the way from the entire diaphragm through the coxofemoral joints. And here's the reason why. If we just move this radiograph slightly, pick up that more cranial margin, all of a sudden we can identify a pretty significant abnormality sitting cranially here. So what's going on here? Well, this patient has a diaphragmatic hernia. We can see these tubular gas-filled structures which extend cranially on this right-hand side. They've broken through this diaphragmatic margin, extending into the thorax, and so this is a diaphragmatic hernia. We can see it in both lateral projections. When the right lateral is present, you know, that extends a little bit further cranially, and that's because of the positioning of the diaphragmatic crura relative to the opposite lateral projection. So once again, just highlighting the importance of really having those well-positioned radiographs available to us that we can identify the entire abdomen and we're not missing things at the edge of the films um, and that's going to be really valuable. So once again this is a diaphragmatic hernia in a dog. Hallmarks we're looking for are these tubular gas-filled structures extending into the thorax and also just the interruption of that diaphragmatic margin that we would normally see as a smooth soft tissue line as we do here on the left hand side. So I hope this has been helpful and thanks for joining me.